A tennis ball has a mass of 58 grams. It's dropped from rest from a vertical height of 1.8 meters and it falls vertically. The ball rebounds vertically to a height of 1.1 meters. The effect of air resistance is negligible and we're trying to work out the change in momentum of the ball during its collision. So we're trying to work out delta P, which is PF minus PI. Okay, so let's draw a diagram to represent this. Let's say here is our ball to begin with. It's then dropped. It hits the ground sometime later. And when it hits the ground, let's say the velocity that it has is VI. It rebounds back up with a speed that I'm going to call VF, gets up to a different height before it stops. So this height was 1.8 meters. And the height that we have here after the rebound is 1.1 meters. So if we know what these two velocities are, VI and VF, we can work out what the initial and final momentum would be before and after the ball hits the ground. And once we have those two things, we can then work out the change in momentum. Remember that momentum is mass times velocity. So that's how we're going to convert these two velocities into momentum. OK, so how do we work out VI and VF? We can use SUVAP. So let's define a positive direction. I'm just going to say that upwards is positive, And I'm going to stick with that for the rest of the question. So let's look at the fall of the ball and then try and work out what VI is. We know that the displacement is minus 1.8. The acceleration is minus 9.81. Both of those things point downwards, and therefore they will be negative. It says in the question that it's dropped from rest, so then the initial speed is 0. The final speed is what we're trying to work out. So we can use v squared is u squared plus 2as. u is 0, so v becomes the square root of just 2as as the u squared goes away. And this is then the square root of 2 times minus 9.81 times minus 1.8. And that gives us 5.94 meters per second. So we define the upwards direction to be positive. But as we can see from our diagram, the velocity of the ball when it hits the ground is negative as it's going downwards. So when we square rooted this here, we actually want it to be the negative version of the number. So then our velocity when the ball hits the ground, which you call vi, would be minus 5.94. And now we can work out what the momentum would be. So momentum is mass times velocity. We know that the mass was 58 grams. So then convert that to kilograms, 0 0.058. Multiply it by the velocity, minus 5.94. And this gives us negative 0 0.345 units, newton seconds. OK, so we have the initial momentum. Now we need to work out the final momentum. So let's draw out another SUVAT table. So again, this time, we're still considering the upward direction to be positive. Let's be consistent with that for the whole question. The displacement in this case is 1.1 upwards, so that's positive. And we know that it comes to rest when the ball reaches the top, so the final velocity is 0. The initial velocity is uf. That's the velocity of the ball when it leaves the ground. OK, so initial velocity is vf. Final velocity is 0 as it comes to rest. Displacement was 1.1, that's the upward distance traveled. And the acceleration is downwards, so that will therefore be minus 9.81. Again, we can use v squared is u squared plus 2as. v is 0 in this case, so 0 is u squared plus 2as. Bring the 2as to the left-hand side and square root. So it's a square root of negative 2as. And will our velocity be positive in this case? Let's have a look. So it's going upwards, so therefore it must be positive. OK, so u is vf, remember. And that's equal to the square root of negative 2 times minus 9.81 times 1.1. And that gives us 4.65. And then we can work out the momentum. The final momentum would be 0 
times 4.65, which is 0 0.270. Okay, now change the momentum is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum, which is 0 0.27 minus minus 0 0.345. That's just these two numbers here and here taken away from one another, PF minus PI. And this gives us 0 0.615 newton seconds, which is close enough to D.